Alright boys, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna continue right where we left off with Judgment House. This is uh I always yeah. heard this place was such an interesting museum back in its heyday. Now it's just a place propped up by rusty nails and rumors. A place you wouldn't dare your worst enemy to go into. Judgment House. Huh. Maybe this abandoned place isn't so abandoned after all. Son of a... I hate it when I'm right. So I guess it is Baxter. Damn it. Find the upstairs room with the light on. This is not creepy at all. What's this? Need ten more junk over the story. Ashes to ashes. What the hell? Running. What the fuck, dude? Just go up the stairs. Home one. She who does the devil's dance shall drop and crack and sway and jig upon the rope perchance the devil's due to pay. Dude, I swear. It has to be Baxter. Like, I don't see any, how it couldn't be anymore. A natural bridge of ghost and flesh. You harvest souls as though you a fiend, a, though a friend. You cut with scythe, with pitchfork thresh, until you meet your righteous end. Man, this place seems to be just full of the dead. Okay. Let man beware who keeps so foul, a witch from a harm beneath his wing. She casts her spell upon his soul and wreaks damnation's reckoning. You poor bastard. So he pretty much thinks that he's doing like the Lord's work, essentially. Well, I shouldn't say the Lord's work. He just he thinks he's he thinks he's doing a good thing. So many bucks. To rid the land of nature's guilt, through exercise of power, requires more vigilance than thou wilt. Tis always judgment hour. like the bell killer's war room joys versus the killers focused on joy i should check this all out she does 
Devil made me do it. Mayor Studer deflects blame after being charged with a series of, tor of torturous murders. Oh, damn it. Old Salem murders. There, there were torturous killings in Salem over 100 years ago. Third hanging victim discovered. Bizarre hangings and three recent murders harken back to Salem's shameful past. Witch trial similarity. Film has a history of killers apparently re referencing the witch trials similar to the Bell Killer. These are the methods the killer used to murder the victims and how each one of them died. Can't tell if he's consistent or schizophrenic. So stoning, hanging, drowning. Personal items. Trophies? Collection of what seemed to be personal items taken from the bail killer's victims, maybe? Murderous past. Map of previous killings. This map shows the locations of all of his murders, but in far more detail than the police know. Oh shit. That scared the fuck out of me. Wait, 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 wait. Similar murders. Multiple killers. Decades apart. Is this a string of copycats? A conspiracy? Copycat killers. Similar murders have been happening in Salem for over a century. This is a string of copycat killers. What else did you hide in this house, you freak? What was that? There's another okay yeah yeah i was gonna say there's like another one around here somewhere Fuck you, asshole. Eat these things. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how I managed to do that. Oh my god, Baxter? I should have been the one that stopped you. Ronan? What the hell is going on? You sick bastard. Why'd you do it? Why'd you bring back the witch trials and kill all those innocent girls? You think I'm the bell killer? Are you, are you insane? I've never killed anyone. You gotta help me. What is this place? We gotta get out of here. Oh, we gotta get out of here. All of a sudden, we're buds. Uh, uh, uh. You need to tell me what's going on here. So the dumbass was just trying to be the fucking hero. God damn it, you fucking idiot. So I was right all along. So who killed you? Is it Rex? The bell killer, you idiot. But I didn't get a good look at his face. 
Bellcolor and murder back. So Bellcolor and murder back are the judgment house cellar. Where's the killer? No idea. He could be anywhere. But when we fought, he said something I didn't understand at all. Wait, wait, wait. wait. The killer actually talked? Not much. But I think I hit a nerve. I told that bastard he'd be dead soon. But he said, I already know death. And then something about his instrument of death will kill again tonight. My instrument of death? But he kills different ways every time. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. We gotta figure out what that means. Killer's instrument of death. A killer is planning another murder tonight with this instrument of death. What were you doing here? Being an idiot? What were you doing here? Following a lead. I never dropped the case. Had this psychic, Cassandra, working with me. And we figured out the bell killer is hunting mediums. Like a witch trial execution copycat. At that point, we couldn't let it go. Even after Rex demoted me. So that's why you're at the museum. Okay, where's Cassandra? Do you know where Cassandra is? Is she still alive? Last I checked, yeah. I took her to a safe house outside of town. Oh my god, she's alive. I was sure she'd be dead too. Joy would be freaking ecstatic. She shouldn't end up alone. Cassandra in safe house. Baxter moved Cassandra to a safe house outside of town when the bell killer threat against her became real. Do you know Joy? Cassandra ever bring up her daughter? Wouldn't shut up about her. We looked for Joy for days, but it was too risky. Cassandra has been begging me to track Joy down, but I haven't found her yet. You're not gonna believe this. Joy's been helping me tonight. <laughs> Figures a cop like you would need help to get this far. Uh, you mean like what? The help you got from her mom? Yeah, right. Exact same shit. Get back to Cassandra. Make sure she's still safe and bring her back to the station. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna quickly check out the cellar and come up with a plan. I hope. Baxter knows Joy. Baxter knew Joy this entire time. Was trying to find her and make sure she was safe. And see, that's what I thought to begin with. I thought he was trying to find her to make sure she was okay. But that was... I thought that before I we even made the connection between him and Cassandra. I, I literally... I legitimately thought the guy was just, you know, trying to be like hero cop, whatever. Make sure the girl was safe because he knew about the girl. Because it was obvious he knew about the girl. But then when they made the connection between him and Cassandra, I was like, okay, he obviously knows both of them. He was trying to keep probably both of them safe, so what's going on? But then just evidence just kept mounting up, making him look like a suspect, making him look like he was a fucking bell killer. And I was just like, don't tell me it was him. Because like when we saw, when we finally saw the face, it looks almost identical to fucking Baxter. That's the one thing that convinced me finally that it could have been Baxter was the facial structure around the eyes. But I couldn't get a good look at the eye color. That was the only thing. So I thought that was weird, to say the least. But um, I'm I'm honestly glad to know that it wasn't Baxter. I'm kind of sad to see that he was killed. I really, the, I mean, the guy was a bit of an ass, but you know, he didn't deserve to die. You know, bit of a shame. Okay, find out if the killer is still in Judgment House. Okay. He looks accusing. Judging. You okay, must be righteousness, But you know your guilt and cannot deny your punishment is due. 
Righteous man. The angry man points in the cell and claims to his accused that punishment is due. That must be Hawthorne. Prison inside a prison. What would you need to cage someone who's already locked in a tiny cell? Good question. How true this. Bell killer symbol was once drawn in the cell, but by whom? Wait, I wonder if this is that I wonder if this is that girl. Pigtails. What did I fucking tell you? I knew she was important, but how does she fit into all this? What was Abigail doing here? Uh, she was imprisoned, pleading. You stood for justice. How is this just? Poor thing. I think it was held prisoner and thought this punishment was unjust. I mean, it it, it is. English light. Candles. But these did almost nothing to combat the darkness down here. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Okay. What else is there? There's more here. Good little secret room. That's all I have to go on. You claim righteousness, but you know your guilt and cannot deny your punishment is due. I thought you stood for justice. How is this just? The courts are not a place for your murderous whimsy. You are a corrupt heathen. The families of those innocent souls you executed through false accusation of witchcraft will exact their righteous justice tonight. False accusation? What is that nonsense you draw? My mark will burn like a brand in the flesh of this town. It takes me to the ends of eternity. I will personally make the bell toll for every witch in Salem. Why? The guy who killed me is... Abigail. She might be the bell killer. How is that possible? I gotta get out of here and figure out how to track her down. What the fuck is Abigail the Bell Killer? How could she be? How could she be? I mean, I can see her possessing someone, but. What? I didn't see that coming. Okay. Rex is missing. He could be going down right now. Where'd you take joy, you asshole? Where would Abigail take joy? I think the killer was headed to the top floor apartment. Was it random? Just 
close to this is this dimension. The witness is headed to the police station to track down her mother's book. Which one has? One of Salem's historic sites I mentioned on Brother Jim. In Salem. Where would Abigail take joy? Actual Kurtz and Eric Gallows if Abigail was a bail killer. Killer's planning another murder tonight, and this is my death. Yeah. Instrument of death, meaning her death, where she was killed. The gallows at the museum. Hang on, kid. I'm on my way. She must be fucking possessing Rex. So, did I call that shit again? Bill Killer's hideout. Achieving a lot of judgment. Crack down Abigail. Killer was, has joy at the museum. Abigail is the killer, then her instrument of death is the gallows at the museum. Get to the museum. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Fuck you. Yeah. Alrighty boys, I think that's where I'm going to end it for tonight. That is crazy. I did not see it being Abigail. That, okay, I don't, I, you know what, in, in hindsight, should have seen that shit coming. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. I guess we'll, uh, she, I, I think she's, uh, wait, could she be possessing Rex? How long, how long was Baxter dead? I mean, right now it makes sense that she's possessing Rex. But what about all the prior kills? All the other kills? How, when it came to the Judgment House, how long has, how long was Baxter dead? Hmm. Timelines. It's interesting. I don't know. I don't know. And you know what? We're going to find out. Because, holy crap. I, I feel like we're almost done. I feel like this is probably going to be like the last the last thing to come across. I feel like this next one is going to be crazy. I feel like we're going to find out a bunch of shit about the bell killer. Who's been actually been doing all the physical stuff. If um, It's got to be Abigail. I mean, come on. It's, you know, Abigail and how why she's doing it, how she's doing it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.